Hello everybody and welcome to my onstage recap. So onstage is a demonstrator only event hosted by Stampy Up and we have not had an onstage in person since November 2019. I think everyone can guess the reason why. So it has been super exciting that we've had one. Hey Tanya, nice to see you. I'm thrilled that you've been able to join me. Um, I am buzzing with excitement and joy, um, a little bit of exhaustion, well actually quite a bit of exhaustion, but you know, good type of exhaustion. And this is probably one of my favourite videos that I get to do every year, is recapping and showing you all the wonderful goodies and treats and sharing with you the amazing time. Because I would really love you to join me next time. There is nothing more exciting than being in a room full of paper crafters, getting excited over new catalogs, new products, demonstrations, learning, hugging, saying hello, um, sharing, swapping, exchanging, um, you know, all of that. And you could join me. You could absolutely join me by joining my team. And now is the most amazing time to join because you can get to see the catalog on Tuesday as well. How awesome is that? And you'll get to order from it in December. The catalog does not go live until the 5th of January. So that means a two, like that little bit of extra time to choose and plan and work out what you want and what you need. And there's also a sale next week. So oh, not next week on Tuesday. So you could add extra stuff into your starter kit. So it's $169. You get $235 worth of products. And if there's anything on sale, you get it for the sale price. So yeah really think about that. <laughs> Anyhow, I know that you want to see the goodies, so let's flip down. I've undenied how to best do this, um, but I'm not, I'm just going to go with it. So hey Joanne, Tanya and Joan, Sue, it's so lovely to see you all. Well, I don't get to see you, but anyway, so love you to join me. I was um, honoured, or should I say blessed, or fortunate, I don't know. Um, I did feel as if I didn't belong there as if I was <laughs> imposter syndrome uh, to go to center stage on Friday night and center stage is for stamping up leaders so you have to achieve a certain uh, number of sales as well as team achievements and I honestly don't think it's my achievement because it it was my team got me there my customers got me there um, I certainly didn't do those sales on my own um, and I am so grateful to everybody who contributed to that, to my family, to supporting me, to my team, to my customers. Anyway, so at center stage, when we arrived, we checked in and we got our envelopes, which contained a letter explaining what achievements we are being celebrated for. So you can see I've got center stage written there. And then I've had an le annual leadership stand and wave on Saturday and my five year anniversary. So that was awesome. And in there was our name badge and ribbons. So here is my name badge and these are my ribbons. Aren't they pretty colors and such pretty? And I will say that this, the theme of on stage is using a products from a new suite. So this is the DSP, isn't it? Just gorgeous and this too. Um, I changed my um, lanyard. So there's a black lanyard in the box, but I changed mine to this pretty one from Stamping Up. And we were also handed the catalogs. So the new mini catalog and celebration catalog. And to be honest, we didn't open them. Mine was still sealed in plastic when I arrived back in the hotel late that night um, because we were just so excited to see everyone and to be hugging and to be talking to people in person. Um, Cause there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of networking happening when you really get into the stamping up world. You make friends with other demonstrators and it's just amazing to be able to see them in person. So I can't actually show you the inside of the catalogs either. That's why I'm saying if you join my team, you can see it tomorrow. Um, but there's, you know, some sneak peeks there. If I bring that up closer, you might be able to have a little bit of a look, see? We didn't even open our, well, I didn't even open the inside of my box except to get the lanyard out because I forgot in the black to bring the pretty one on Friday night. But we also got a gift. So this is for center stage only. And I did think to myself, maybe I should have a little compact umbrella 
because it looked like it might rain and I didn't have one. So now I do. Um, I'm glad I didn't buy one and it looks like it's an amazing quality and I have to show you this. So for anyone who has issues, anxieties over opening umbrellas indoors, I apologize. Um, I have no problem with it um, because I really have to show you this. So hold on, let me just pop it. <laughs> and this is gonna be hard. But can you see that? That's the inside. It's, it's got the stitched circles, plain circles, embossed circles, stamped. Oh, that one's, can you see that one's like stamped and that one's stamped and in all sorts of stamping out colors. It's just so cool. Amazing. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I did open that on Friday night. Just to see it, because I was like, it can't be just a plain black umbrella, can it? Um, oh, so let's take a look inside the box now. So I went back to the hotel and we did look. And I had seen the sneak peek from Sarah. So on top was this stamp set, hand-drawn dots. And it's a background stamp set, so it's uh, red rubber. And we had an amazing uh, presentation, I think, from... I think the demo was Amanda Fitzgerald. I hope I've got the name right. But she suggested using, so I'm gonna take the backing off here. But she suggested inking it up by holding it like this, inking it and then stamping it like this. And it just created this amazing, cool textured background. So I'm thinking I won't put the sticker on because the sticker will be sticky and then what if I stick it together? Uh, but that was such a great idea on how to use that stamp set. So that's one thing. But where should I put it? <laughs> to the other side. Then we got this lovely handbag. Um, I don't know if can you see it. There, you can see it's got stamping up. Oh, I've got a little bit of something there already. Don't know what, that's all right. So you can see it's got stamping up. It's got this pocket on the back. And so this is a full body strap, so you can wear it across body or over your shoulder. And then it's a magnetic closure. There's some just packing paper in there and a pocket right there. So that's going to be awesome. It's going to, and it's a very nice clasp. Like it's got that, it's got a little groove there. So you can, it really just slots in nicely. And so there's the black lanyard that I was saying, but it's a little rougher. I was so excited. We got this, it's a celebration stamp set and it's a level two celebration. That means in Australia, to earn this one for free, you have to spend $180 and then you can get it free. It's a two, two part photopolymer stamp set. And I, I mean, I love flowers. I can never get rid of, uh, get um, over flowers. And I just, I really love that when you can either color, hand color, or stamp in the flowers. So you've got those options. So that really gets me excited. And there's a tiny little bumblebee and just beautiful sentiments um, for feeling better kind of day, sending happy thoughts for a very happy birthday. Kindness matters. Thank you. You're easy to love. Like just lovely sentiments. And this was demonstrated um, and just so many wonderful ideas. We also got this beautiful notebook. It's a flip forward notebook. And I love that it's a... Uh, grid i love writing on grid and this is the exciting part check that out along the edges how cool is that don't you just love a pretty notebook and it's got the stamping up logo embossed and then i didn't use the pen on the weekend but last night my daughter and i did open it and i thought this was a ball pelly pen which is great who doesn't like a good pen but I'm super excited to share that it's actually a gel pen and I actually have refills. So I'm going to be able to use this beautiful pen and it's got weight to it. It's like solid, but I'm going to be able to use this beautiful pen for a very long time because I've got refills. So how awesome is that? And again, the DSP is on this. So that is, and that will sit nicely there. And the final thing, which I forgot to put back in the box, is I we all got some badges so I think everyone's on stage badge was the same size and color 
um, but these two were different so the idea is you can go around swapping uh, but I'm sorry people the bunny is all mine I am a bunny person always have been my kids are bunnies I call them bunnies all in Russian but um, so my maiden surname in Russian comes from the word hare or rabbit um, so you know I am a bunny um, and so that bunny is mine <laughs> then there's this beautiful leaf so that was fun to get um, the others were I saw some sunshines um, I can't remember what else so that's the box and then across the day there were door prizes and oh so on the back of our name badges um, we had a number so I got number three um, it goes up to number five so we all had either one two three four or five and across the, t the day you there would be a number so announce the door prize and we would rumble and there would be door prizes and if your number so they'll tell you what the door prize is and if your number gets called then you get a door prize so when number three was called I got this fun twine so this is from the mini catalog it's called three twine combo how, <laughs> how creative um, but it's coastal cabana which I love garden green and pumpkin pie and so that was exciting there was also in some of those boxes which I didn't get one but in some of those boxes was a yellow badge about I don't know yay big and um, if they you had one of those yellow badges you got all the door prizes um, which was pretty cool but there was two, not just one, but two door prizes that were for everybody. Uh, so the first one was this beautiful stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set um, and it's just borders. And this, it was just, it's going to be beautiful. So we might stamp with that in a moment after I finish sharing. So I'll keep that there. But we also got this fun paper let me get the name right it is the dry brushed metallic 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper and it's in cajun craze petal pink and soft succulent and, oh the stamp set is gorgeous joan joan um isn't it oh where are my scissors my snips are all packed away so i'm just going to Unpacked my suitcase, but just haven't unpacked the crafting supplies. But let's take a look how, I don't know, that doesn't look soft succulent to me personally. I, it looks more balmy blueish, uh, which suits me fine. I, I just think it's stunning. Um, so very pretty. It's gonna, and it's just white on the other side. So I can't wait to use that for something. That will be lovely. Put that to the side. Um, oh, and on our tables, as we when we were in, hey Deborah, you made it. So we walked in. There was round tables set up. There's six per table. There was this beautiful display, which I've shared that on my um, Facebook and Instagram already. But how pretty is this grid paper? Now I refuse to stamp on the grid paper. <laughs> whenever we go to on stage so oh, I did stamp one year and then regretted it so I've kept every single grid paper from on stage and I did snatch people have left some behind so I snatched two more shapes um, that's all good you can see what you can see and watch the rest later um, so I, I just thought I'd cut this off and it might make some beautiful cards because the designer series paper isn't quite like that, I don't remember having the paper, uh, the, the print on top. So that's that. And I'll show you some swaps that I received. So I didn't really make swaps. I'm not gonna put the box in front, but some people gave me some things. So this one's from Anne Lynette, who um, caught me as I came off the stage for my five year anniversary. Isn't this sweet? You're on my mind. So that's just beautiful. I like the little bow there. She's so She's very good at tying bows, isn't she? Um, and it's nice because I don't have any of that. I used to scrap every scrapbook everything on the grid paper. Oh, genius. Oh, I'm going to keep the grid paper for that now. 
This one was from my upline, Michelle. So I was so lucky I had my upline and one downline with me. Um, so that's just a little Christmas tree ornament and I got to pick my color. Uh, so I picked Coastal Cabana. See, I told you I like Coastal Cabana. This is from Danita, whose surname I can't remember absolutely correctly, so I'm not even going to a chip live, but isn't that sweet? Um, I love the colors she's picked here and how she's stamped in pink on the soft freesia. Um, this one's from Leone. Again, beautiful colors and choice. Everyone's so talented. Um, last week I shared my little treat bag, so this is what I made. There was one left over. Someone didn't come for me to give them to it. Um, let's see. Oh, this is from Kaz. She made these little boxes. I haven't opened this, so let's check it out. She made so many. Oh, it's like a little milk carton, and there's oh, there's um, a Mentos and some TikToks. How oh, sweet! <laughs> Isn't that fun? And that is gorgeous DSP around there. And the little for you, so sweet. But I love this little. I, I don't know something about miniature pegs I hate hanging out clothes but miniature pegs <laughs> this is from Annie from the artisan design team this year um, that's so sweet my kids were like ooh a candy cane <laughs> um, then this one I can't remember if it was from Leanne or Karen who sat at our table but they made these little treat boxes this is a die in our annual catalog I haven't got it but it's gorgeous and I haven't opened it yet so let's open it and check out what she put inside oh there's lots of little treats in there oh I can feel something else in there I don't want to open both ends because it's tied up so nicely there we go got it it's a fruit chew I was going to buy some Hershey's Kisses because I don't think I've ever had them. So yay. Thank you. And a little lollipop. Oh, root beer flavor. I've never seen these. So oh, exciting. But isn't that cute? So just little bonbon. That's what they're called, aren't they? I don't know what the die is called. I can look it up. And then finally, I don't know who this is from, but I think they used, again, a die set mini box die set thing. And they created this little carry case because that's not a diet this, this is self-created so how clever is that I wish I knew who this was from um, there's no indicator of name which I didn't put one on mine either so not um, judging or criticizing because I didn't get to it either but anyway let's open up and see what's inside these little boxes I've seen people do advent calendars with these boxes so the little box is a die generous a lint chocolate I think this one is the um uh, the light blue I think is cookies and cream flavor let's see what this one is Ooh, I think this one's hazelnut Yum. <gasps> awesome is so that is hold on which way does it yep this goes over the top so isn't that adorable how much work went into that oh so whoever gave me this if you ever come across this video thank you so much i really love it it's so cute and you're so clever to create this little carry tray for them like i said so many talented people out there and then i've got ah well, there's the make and takes to show and some gifts so let's uh get to the make and takes let me see what folder i put them in so we did make and takes from a new kit i can't remember the name of the kit but we got to make and they're kind of masculine cards so we made two each you make the world a better place and you stamp the world and then um this pocket watch time to celebrate that could be a new, nice New Year Year's Eve card too. Um, time to celebrate though. Is the time correct? Well, it's after 11 on this 
little pocket watch so that could be that could work well so that was make and takes and we just did them during lunch time and finally I have two gifts to show you my upline Michelle Mathwin made me this like yes she made it isn't that amazing so it's got this really fun rose zipper and she knows me very very well so I love a good cup of tea so that it's got teacups inside and it's got this lovely blue mesh which I, I like the blues and I love pinks as well so you know the pink on the edge there but then when we flip it over there's roses which if anyone has seen um, I have a rose garden and so she's quilted this herself and then cut it and bound it and made it into like a little awesome little sleeve isn't it great Joanne um, so very, very blessed that she always gives me something that she's made at on stage, and um, I'm always very touched by her uh, abilities. So that's that one. And then my friend Pam made me this most amazing gift. I was shocked, and I'm so happy that it's come home in one piece. So it was a large stamp in the middle there, and she's got lots of um, splashes. There's Wink of Stella and some black I think particularly on that corner there um, but this was one giant stamp that she once got I think she said it at a center stage or on a trip and it's the statement of the heart to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity worthwhile accomplishments and in this we make a difference and I just love that I work with a company that has this as their statement of their heart isn't that just beautiful? And then the butterflies, I just love the butterflies. So isn't that just the most gorgeous gift? So I've got two beautiful now framed pictures given to me by Stamping Up Friends. I am so touched. Um, 3D is not my um, forte. I would say this and my other beautiful, I have to show you my other one. It's been a while. Here's my other beautiful one. So I need to find good spots to now hang these together. But like people have talent. Um, my strength is not in this 3D kind of world. Um, but yeah, I'm just blown away by these gifts and so touched. So that, my friends, is that. So I'll just flip. Um, so that was my on-stage experience. Um, I'm still buzzing. I am looking at the catalogue, so I'll have a retreat this February. And Early Bird Special finishes on the 18th of November. So that's, I think, this week or early next week or end of something like that. Um, so if you want to join me, I would love you to join me. I have decided on the products, but I'm going to wait until pre-order, uh, 1st of December, to finalise because... With the world shipping issues, who knows whether the products will arrive in time. And so I don't want to pick something and then go, oh, hold on, they haven't arrived, so I'm better to pick something else. But um, there could be bunnies in the future. Hopefully there are bunnies in the future. Um, or flowers or something else. Um, we'll see. I've got a plan A, I've got a plan B, and I'm working on plan C just in case. Because you've got to go with the flow these days, don't you? Uh... If there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, let me know if you attended an on-stage somewhere else. I would love to hear what your on-stage was uh, like. I see a comment. Oh, am I going to make a card? Thank you, Tanya. I totally forgot. So, um, yeah, let's make a card. Let's do it. I'm thinking heat embossing. Ooh, that could be fun. So let's flip back. Hold on. I don't know where I'm holding, pressing now. Ah, thank you so much, Tanya. I totally forgot. Let's make a card. Yay! The day is getting better. <laughs> so let's use this beautiful stamp set. Um, I'm just thinking, what shall we do? What shall we do? I feel like watercoloring a little bit. Um, let's see if I have enough watercolor paper though. Because that I am low on. I have lots of scraps of watercolor paper. I might be able to use that bit. Okay. Formulating. 
formulating an idea. Oh, here's something I didn't show you. Sorry, just flicking. So I made these cards and I've got a few left over, but my team is going to get them. So I made these cards for on stage using the, what's it called? Full of Love stamp set, which is just, I thought it was perfect because, you know, we're card makers and it features little cards. Um, so I'm going to trim that. Let's move the umbrella. I am going to trim this down. That's nine centimeters, which makes it one and a half smaller. So one and a half smaller. I've got to, oh no, that's not one and a half smaller. So let's trim it even further. It'll be one, two and a half. Make it two and a half centimeters smaller than a card front. That probably doesn't make any sense to you. One, two, so eight centimeters. It's kind of the way my brain works. So a card front is generally 10 and a half centimeters by 14.85. And to keep the proportions right, I kind of work out what my card fronts will be by uh, how many centimeters smaller it is than the standard card front. So that's that. I will not use grid paper from on stage because I love Joanne's suggestion of using it for scrapbooking. You're keeping it in proportion. Exactly, I am keeping it in proportion. Um, and I do that by talking centimeters. Which one do we really like? Oh, they are a lot bigger. So the images on the cover are at 85%. So I thought I was thinking they were this size, but they're actually bigger. Ooh. I think that corner one will be very fun to use. So that's the one we'll use. So we could do one corner piece there and then one corner piece here. And, and then we'll do a sentiment in the middle popped up. Ah, I've rearranged my box. Where is it? There it is. So I'm going to, I'm seeing this in white. I'm going to grab my heat tool. The white um, embossing body and my tweezers. I'm going to rub down. This is the fluid 100, so the watercolor paper. I'm going to rub that down. Open up my white embossing powder. Grab my Versamark ink. Because this is a larger stamp than the ink pad, I like to take the ink pad to the stamp. And it is photopolymer. So I'm just going to grab, and it is the first time I'm using this stamp set, so I'm just going to grab my mat, my stamp and pierce mat. And I'm just eyeballing it where it is into the corner. Now you're not going to be able to see anything because of it being Versamark. But you can probably pick up that there's the embossing powder there now. And we're just going to do the same on the other corner. No, I need to cover that up and just make sure I don't. Ooh. No, I haven't stamped yet. <laughs> I told you I was tired. And careful not to grab where the other is so I'm not to smoosh the powder because I didn't heat set it. And yes, I've got a project on the back that never got to finish it and I don't see myself finishing it. So. Um, I've got white there and my 
tweezers can go there because that's safe. I'm just going to cover everything up. So if I'm missing any comments, I do apologize. I don't, they kind of disappear off the screen. They come up for a moment and then they disappear. But after this live ends, I will go through each and every one. And if you're watching on YouTube or the replay, I will get notifications that you've commented. So please still comment and I will respond to you as soon as I can. There we go. It's starting to heat set. And I know you're not going to be able to see much because it's white and the paper's almost white. But once we start adding, 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 good word adding the water colouring we will get some fun looks okay because the watercolour won't adhere to the embossing can you even see that if I catch can just see the shimmer if I'm trying to catch the light on it but trust me it's there uh, now aqua painters let's hope I have some water in them oh, a little bit of water there itty bitty amount of water there where's the big aqua painter got some water there okay uh -huh. oh, and there's some water in the big one good so it's going to start with the big one possibly and I'm thinking oh Ooh, let's do a vote for the background or ooh, actually I've got three choices today. Now for the background wash, shall I use balmy blue, Tahitian Tide or Coastal Cabana. Remember, I've used this corner one and I'm thinking the flowers shall be pink. So all of these colors, pink or purple, work well with pinks and purples. And I'm going to do the background in a bit of a wash first. So give me a thumbs up for Balmy Blue. Give me a love heart for Tahitian Tide and a ha 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 I don't know how to do a hand gesture for that but ha 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 uh, for Coastal Cabana now I am thinking if I use the Coastal Cabana we could use the Coastal Cabana twine so you know just something to think about so Joanne has said Tahitian Tide and I've seen a love heart so that's like two votes for Tahitian so what do we think Tanya's got, also voted for Tahitian Tide. And so is Joan. I, I think I think we have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? So I'm just going to press the back of my ink pad a bit more into the base just to get a bit more ink there. And I'm going to water this down quite a bit. So... Then you'll have greens for the leaves. This, this is true. So I don't know how accurate, how much I'm going to be able to color specifically the actual flowers because I'm doing this great big wash. But I do have an idea, so you know, bear with me. So I'm creating background wash and we will heat set it and I'm trying to create a bit of texture so you can see now oh probably not I might need to zoom in a bit but so the flowers are now picking up showing up beautifully I'm going to just zoom in this is nice and wet now so what I'm going to do is because I don't want to bring the ink pad when there's water in the base. 
right now. Ooh, trying to get that in camera there. I'm just going to add one drop of the reinker, just one, and dilute that a bit. But it's going to be a darker Tahitian time, so just kind of. Oh, it's raining. The rain has come. It did rain last night as well, but. I wasn't a very good rose mother this weekend. I didn't get to water them before I went to on stage, just prepping for on stage. So this makes me feel better. And now, before I heat set that, I am going to make sure I have a tissue on hand. And I'm going to just hope, kind of wash out, come on, start drooping water. There we go. Wash out some of the color from here and dab 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 just so that there's space not space but there's going to be less mixing of the Tahitian hide into the colors that I will put in into the detail so you can just, I don't know if you can see much, but I feel that that area did lighten up a bit. It's not the perfect solution. The perfect solution would have been careful to be careful around that area. But you know what? I didn't have the patience for that. I am tired. So let's heat set that to make it nice and dry. And I'm doing it from the back as well because as you can see it's curving and I know it's curving this way but I'm going to flip it back forward and then hopefully that'll help it curve so you can see it's flattening out now like it's always going to be a little bit curved but if we use the right glue and a bit of a weight we will be fine and I want it fairly well dry so I'm just going to do it for that little bit of extra longer if you're at home and you have laundry dishes to do or something you could just leave it to air dry which is sometimes preferable but you know I don't have time well I, I respect your time should I say I have time I have dishes and laundry to do I'm sure I do there's always some um, but the point is we need to Yes, Joanne, you're absolutely right. So Joanne has said the biggest stamp block makes a great weight. And that is exactly why I own it. I don't use it for stamping per se, because that gets um, too hard to hold and maneuver. But for a weight to adhere things down, it is perfect. So um, let's start with the greens. What kind of green should I use? Do you know what? Not that it's a particular classic green, but Bermuda Bay. I think it'll go really well with. I'm just finding the with the um Tahitian tide. Come on, there is water in there. Squeeze out. Actually, before I do that, I might just. I know there's a lot of ink, but it's a lot of diluted ink. Well, that was. There, that's better. And there's not a huge amount of water there. Well, oh, enough. There we go. Drip, drip. And so I'm going to now add Bermuda Bay into the leaves. So that looks quite nice. It's a little hard to tell which ones are leaves and which ones are flowers. Oops, that was a flower petal. That's okay. That's a leaf. And I have to say, it is going into that space because of the uh, heat embossing. And this is why I heat embossed this image. 
because of the heat embossing. Of course, you could have done the background. Oh no, that doesn't avoid the area. Um, but because of the heat embossing, it kind of slides off the embossed and sits in the grooves, which is awesome. This is why I wanted to heat emboss it. That's a leaf. That's a leaf, which I missed on the other side. It's alright, I can add it in. Neighbours of doggies, thank you for the thumbs. Focus, there we go. Really liking how that's turning out. Now, what colour shall we do? Oh no, raining heavily. It's rain has stopped here. Um, it did rain at the airport yesterday, just as I was supposed to board. And because Port Macquarie is a very regional area, we needed to catch the bus to the plane. You know, like you don't go through the gates. And yeah, they had to stop us from boarding because they didn't want anyone on the tarmac, which I appreciate that they were putting safety first. My little bunnies were disappointed, particularly the little miss. Now a pink. Oh, I know, petal pink. No, sorry, not petal pink, polished pink. This is definitely a polished pink moment. Might just grab a little bit more ink. That one pressed a lot easier. So for those who are joining, thank you. Hello, welcome. I have finished my recap of On Stage and I'm now creating with a... Hi, Sonia. Um, oops, sorry, this is zoomed in, so I can't get the full there. The Decorative Borders stamp set, and we've picked this one right here. Um, this was a all participant at on stage uh, prize patrol. So, and I'd said that I'd, let's make something. And Tanya very kindly reminded me because I'm so tired, I almost forgot. Almost. Well, I mean, I did forget. I'll be honest, but I was more than happy to do it. So I'm just coming. So we created a background wash and then now we're adding the colors. And I really love coloring with uh, things that have been embossed because it kind of contains, like you know how normally you can't watercolor next to two different sections because they'll bleed into each other. So if I was to do this, like I am now the darkening bit. I think I need to zoom in a bit more. That's the maximum I can zoom in at this point. Um, so what I like to do is place some lighter color down and then add some darker color into areas of shadow. And if you were going to do that with water coloring and it's just stamped, you could only do like one little section that doesn't touch another section and then you have to go back. But because of the embossing, the heat embossing that is, it kind of contains the colour. Yes, that's a great way of putting it, Joanne. Um, embossing, the heat embossing puts a wall around the colour and then it holds it there, which is fantastic. And there's a few little flowers, which I think we're going to use a yellow for. But we'll use the pink for there. How sweet is that? I don't know, let's start thinking what kind of sentiment because this stamp set has no sentiments. So we can use whatever sentiment we want. Shall we make it a birthday card? Or, I don't know, Chris, like it'd be nice to make it into a Christmas card, but it's not very Christmassy, is it? Ooh, some clouds would be look really nice with this. I know the exact ones which we can die cut and add. Sorry, my bracelet keeps banging against the table. You hear that clonk clonk sound. <laughs> mm. 
So, oh, at OnStage, while I'm coloring, at OnStage they announced there were uh, changes to the way they're doing, um, well, to, uh, well, catalogs. So the mini catalog, which is the one that we just got in the last couple of years, has been going for uh, six months. This time it's not the January to June. This time it's only, is it three months or four months? It's from the 5th of January to the 1st of May. So January, February, March, May. So that's only uh, four months. So that we, gives us time to enjoy the annual catalog and the next one will, the next, the next mini used to come out in July and that's gonna come out in September. So that allows us to enjoy the annual catalog a little bit more. And it also means there's less confusion because when the mini continued beyond the annual, there was colors that were no longer available because of the in colors retiring and that. And also there won't be an on stage, well, there won't be an on stage in person next November um, because they're moving it to March. So the next in-person on stage will be in March. 2024. I'm really pleased with how this is turning out and I'm going to use a bright yellow. Oh, not Mango Melody. Actually, Mango Melody might be nice. Let's do another little vote quickly. Let's zoom out a bit. There are these tiny, tiny, tiny little flowers just there. There's three. One, two, three. Hi, so I want to do like a yellow or an a bright yellow but I did pull out mango melody so give me a thumbs up if you want mango melody or where is it a love heart if you want me to use daffodil delight not that you can see that that says daffodil delight particularly so for those tiny little flowers and I've just found a pink that I need to Color. I see a love heart. Another love heart. Okay, so that's a daffodil delight. More love hearts. Awesome. Too easy. Done. Put Mango Melody away. And here's a tip I've shared a thousand times, but I'll share it again. Is use your chamois to wipe off your brushes. Because that way you're not wasting paper towels. I know they can go in your compost, but the less we waste, sometimes the better. Got to counterbalance sometimes. Okay, so I'm just pressing. There we go. Got some ink. And what I like about using the base of your ink pad as a palette is that ink isn't wasted. Yes, it kind of dries up once it's closed after a while, but you can still reactivate it uh, because you add water and it's water-based ink. And that way you're not wiping it off. So if you add it to your ink blocks, that's great. If you use all of the ink, that's fantastic. But if you don't, you end up wiping it up. Look at that. The yellow looks just perfect there, I think. Just needs that little bit of brightness. We don't need to heat set this. This isn't heavy, water heavy colouring so perfect. And again I'm going to just I squeeze the brush and just keep wiping until the tip oh, where is the there the tip is no longer got now, just putting that aside, let's zoom out. Now to decide what color cardstock to use. Shall we mount it on? This is Tahitian Tide. So that's a thumbs up for Tahitian Tide. Or mounted on basic white and that's a love heart okay. basic white 
give me some love. Tahitian Tide, which is what we use to watercolor. A thumbs up. I am seeing love hearts floating. Whew. Let's give it another second. White and then, ah, so you mean like mount it on the white, like with a little border and then onto Tahitian hide. So double mount. That third option, give me a ha ha ha. Not that it's particularly funny. I love the idea and I was thinking that we could do that as well. What do we think of that one? I've got one ha ha, I've got more love hearts. I've got a thumbs up, a ha ha. The love hearts still do have it. All the ha ha's are coming through. Okay, the ha ha ha's have got it. So this is Whisper White Thick, so I'm gonna bring in Whisper White uh, Basic. Uh, sorry, not Whisper White, it was Thick Basic White, but for this, just regular basic white is required. So, I will have to trim this down. Now this is where my funny measurement thing comes back in. Well, it makes sense to me. Yes, excellent, Joan. Um, that was the haha -ha open option. Um, it was two and a half. So this was eight. So I'm going to go three millimeters bigger. One, two, three. So I, do, I, I, I do the maths by just adding three, moving the paper cardstock across three. And then this was... 12.35 so it'll be 12.65 and yes I do half a millimeter because A4 cardstock is 297 millimeters so it's a white thin border actually some things yeah that's that's fine so it'll be a thin white border but when we put it actually I think I went too thin Needs to be a little bit thicker. Now let's go four millimeters. Normally I do three, but I think with this watercolor look, it needs the four. So it's 8.4 now by 12.75. Yeah, that's better. Just needed that extra little bit so that white stands out and while I've got the trimmer out I'm going to cut this normally I score first but that's not going to be a card base so no point putting a score line through there but and we'll need one for the inside, and we need an envelope. Ooh, it's time to open a new packet of envelopes, folks. Isn't that exciting? Let's actually let's do some gluing. Let's glue our prettiness. here and this is why I use the liquid glue because you can wiggle and get it all centered and then as Joanne had pointed out the big block um, this is the block F it's going to do this to the side perfect weight to get that solidly um, adhered and nice and flat now I'm just I'm going to work on the other elements while that bit is sticking down. So there's that. And then we've got to decorate our envelope and our inside. And we're just going to use uh, Memento Ink. 
I'm not going to colour these bits in. I've spent enough time colouring for today. But I will just ink them up. And I know I didn't clean off the Versamark, but that doesn't bother me too much because it's clear in its Versamark. I probably should bring in the mat again. So this is the inside of the card. I'm going to put the same design on the bottom right hand corner. And on the envelope, I'll do the top left hand corner. So it kind of complements the card. The card has both and then the card inside and the envelope have together have it both. Beautiful. My friend, this is turning out a very beautiful. We still need a sentiment. Has anyone considered? You may have typed it already and I just didn't see it in the comments. Um, I guess it also depends on which sentiment stamp sets I have because I don't own them all. I did order one from the new mini that would have been very fun to use. It was a great birthday one, but I just laughed and laughed when I read it. So now we're going to put that in the middle, but we're going to put that on dimensionals because I think that would look quite nice. Oh, hey, Kayla. Yes, that is the new border stamp set that we got at on stage. Um, where is it? Where's the cover? The desk is now very, very messy. So here it is. That's the border decorative border stamp set. I have used it today because you know you gotta craft with your new goodies. So I'm going maybe not overboard. I don't consider this overboard. Let me know. Do you think this is overboard on dimensionals? <laughs> I think it's the perfect number of dimensionals. And because when dimensionals are very, very sticky, so it's, um, it is possible that I won't center it and that will really, really bother me. So here's a fabulous tip. Um, never enough of dimensionals, not overboard. And I'm glad you're getting your goodie bag, Kayla, um, is just add some liquid glue to the back of your dimensionals so that you have the, um, the um the height of dimensionals but the wiggle room of liquid glue so that you can center it as required and it sticks and it works beautifully that was a tip from chloe evans i think i say that every single time but i don't want to claim this genius tip as my own it wasn't my own okay we need sentiment and I'm thinking clouds, and I'll show you the clouds from Give It A Whirl. I'm thinking some clouds would be really, really cute with this, and these ones, these little stitched clouds. And then a sentiment among them. So let's die cut them out. And look, we have this basic white that we cut, and... So I don't know, am I allowed to talk about what's inside the catalogue? I don't know. Because there's something very exciting coming as a joining offer. Just leave it there. Just the word love or friend. Okay, great. That's a good direction. So I'll turn around in a moment after I die cut this. Now I have storage now under my desk, which means that the table doesn't shake when I do videos and die cut. I am so happy because I was always so embarrassed that my table shakes because I get motion sickness watching videos. Um, so I don't like that kind of approach, but I couldn't stabilize the table. So now my table is fully stabilized. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, come on, come out. I'll just use. Ooh, someone's telephone is ringing. I don't normally hear the name of this telephone. <laughs> Do you know what gems we'll use? We can put a 
that there, put this one there, and then depending on the sentiment. Okay, let's have a look. How about hug? I could just mask out. Or <gasps> made with love. That even would fit on the cloud without the stamping up copyright. So there's two options and we can put it on the cloud. What are we thinking? Perfect, but which one? I, I'm, I'm leaning towards made with love because because, because, because it was made with love and with all your suggestions. Oh, but Joan has said paper hug. Okay, paper hug, thumbs up, last vote for today. Um, made with love, give me a love heart. So once again, paper hug. Well, it'll actually just say hug. We will mask out the other two. Or made with love. So I think that was Tanya. Joan, love hearts. Oh, there's one, one thumb. It was about three or four love hearts. Lots of love hearts. Okay, made with love. And I think I need to die cut a few more... Um, clouds just to kind of balance it because um, we're using the clouds for the sentiment so I'm just going to quickly do that where do I put the plates I've not put them away there who's excited those demonstrators watching to see the new catalogue tomorrow I mean, and there's a sale tomorrow, can I just say, like, so you can also join, I did say this at the beginning of the video, but you can join my team tomorrow, get access to the catalogue, you won't get to order from the catalogue, but you could order in your um, kit, everything that's on sale, so you even get more value than the 235 because you bought them on sale, and then you can hop over and look at the new catalogue and start planning your December order so that you can order from the new goodies and you'll earn the celebration stuff as well. Can I just say there's some beautiful days for you coming in the celebration. Ooh la la. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp, what did we decide? The love, because there was lots of love hearts. This wasn't down, yep. Oh, my hubby's home. I told him I'll finish this live while he's <laughs> at work. Well, I'm almost finished. Now, I could do some stamp surgery, but I haven't had time. So, oh, no, I'm not going to vote. I'm just going to do. I was going to vote on what colour, but we'll just stamp in Tahitian type because I think that will bring it all together quite nicely. So I'm just masking off the stamping up. No, no, but at least that that's not there. And hopefully that will fit in nicely. Oh, it just made it. I think that worked quite well. Just, just. Hey, honey, I'm still doing my live. But almost finished. We decided to create. Needed some crafting time. Because, you know, you don't really create much while you're at on stage. I'm actually a little disappointed with how that looks. Okay, I'm just being picky, perfectionism. Could colour it with the markers and to stamp it. Yes, I could. I could have stamped it before cutting the... Uh, before cutting the die out as well. But because the dies are solid, it would have been hard to line up either way. 
So that's all good. I could have used the stamp. There's a lot of could have, would have. Anyway, let's finish up. Too many clouds? Yeah, that's too many clouds. Just trying to find that right balance of clouds without covering. Nope. Not happy with that. That's all right. Ooh. Oh. You just got to play with things sometimes and see where you're happy with or what you're happy with. I'm happy with that, but let's just try another little combo. Oh, there's love hearts. Thank you so much. No, that other combo was good. Something like that, wasn't it? Let's go with that. Stamp it, ship it. The way was this the way it was before? I agree with you, Tanya, but I don't remember what it was before. That's also the problem. Stupid auto corrections spells your name wrong, and my name technically. Um, the way I prefer it to be spelt there and one more time oh two more touches oh Taylor are you still watching you're going to be very proud of me I'm going to do a wink of Stella um I always think of Kayla when I do wink of Stella but I've just got to clear the spot out oh someone said they um they've seen a demo who puts like an, uh, has a shoe box to do the splattering which genius but I haven't Got around to getting one. Well, I have a shoe box, but I haven't brought it to the craft room. So I know that that probably doesn't show. Now it does. You can see the Wink of Stella. Or oh, actually, I might do a little bit of Tahitian Pie too. So that's with the marker. Yeah. Or you could have done it with the watercolor. You see the Tahitian Tide? Yeah. And one final thing, a clean pizza box. There we go, there's another good tip. I just don't have a clean pizza box. Pizza boxes aren't clean in our household. Uh, where did I put them? I had them this morning. Aha! My all time favorite gems, the iridescent rhinestones. Oh, my snips are somewhere else. Ah, found them. Actually, we can go with that one there. And then that here. And kind of the fact that these two are diagonally crossed that way, just kind of imitating that same And there. What do we think? So that is the new decorative borders. So thank you very much. Ah, uh, it's a not a real pizza box. It's a box that craft supplies. Oh, well, I've got to find myself a craft box pizza box. <laughs> um, thank you so much for all your input this card was put together because of all the voting that happened today thank you so much for watching um oh my goodness this is probably one of my longest lives ever um, but there was crafting there was chatting 
there was um, a lot of summarizing on stage. So there it is. Isn't it pretty? I'm really loving it. Um, I would love you to join me on stage next time. It will be in March 2024. There will be a virtual one in November. I don't know how that's going to look. But thank you so much for joining me. I am um, super excited. My usual life creativity time on Wednesday will go ahead and I've got some Christmas stuff for you. Jingle bells, jingle. Actually, it's um, using the sweet gingerbread. Here it is. We'll be using the sweet gingerbread and it will be a taster of my next Creative Cuts online class, um, which I now don't call online class. I call a uh, class by mail. So, and this was the add-on class from the retreat. So I'll be doing a taster or a teaser. Um, we'll be creating another project that isn't in the card, uh, in the Creative Cuts class, um, but you will get all the directions and measurements if you join the class and the video will be limited time only. So if you want full access to the video permanently, you'll have to join the class. Um, so details on Wednesday. So that's 1 p.m. Australian Daylight Savings Time. Bye for now.